What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Today I wanted to make a little bit of a different kind of video to talk about some of the different hobbies slash passions I actually have that I do besides coding. One thing that we usually talk about a lot on Instagram and Twitter is, you know, what do you do besides coding? What do you do to get away? Because it's not always about coding, coding, coding. When you're on the journey to learn how to code or you're already in the space and you wanna just get better, you know what I mean? That lifestyle where hard work is always pushed and the grind, the hustle, I get it, I'm part of that, right? I, I preach the hustle, I preach the grind, but there's other things that you need to do and that you need to take into account when it comes to learning how to code and really bettering yourself. It's also taking breaks, mental health, you know, things to get away from coding because you just keep going, you're just gonna burn out and I've, I've burnt out before, many other developers have burnt out before, so I wanna take you into a day where I am not coding at all, where I'm creating content like I am right now, but also getting away and doing some of the other things that I love to personally do. As you guys can maybe see, I'm at the gym right now, so um, today is a day where I actually coach at the gym. This is CrossFit Willow Glen. If you guys are curious, I do coach here from time to time and I also do work out here. I have some peeps coming through around 4.30 p.m. Let me just kind of go over what the passions and hobbies that I have that I do to get away from coding. So obviously, like I said, the gym is one of the biggest hobbies that I have. I do CrossFit, as I said at the beginning of the intro, I do CrossFit here at CrossFit Willow Glen. I've been doing this for about four to five years now, I think roughly, and it's been something that I use to get away use as a stress reliever, um, obviously to take care of my physical and mental health at the same time. So, you know, for you guys, it, it could be the same thing. People love going to the gym, people love throwing around some weight, going for a run, anything physical to kind of get away from coding and just take off the stress that you get when there's coding, you know, when there's bugs that pop up in your code or you're stuck in a problem that you can't really solve and things aren't just going your way, Staying there at the desk and trying to figure it all out is not something that I typically endorse. I, I, I usually do say you need to step away and go do something else in the meantime so that you can get your mind off of it and then later on come back and usually most of the time you'll have a solution to whatever bug you've got or a solution to a problem that you've been trying to solve. So the gym has been that for me, but another hobby that if I don't know if you could tell is photography and filmmaking. I love making content, whether that be through photography or through making videos on YouTube. So I use that medium as well to take my mind off things, flexing my mind creatively to try to di get different compositions and frame different photos or, you know, on Instagram, if you guys haven't checked out my Instagram, you should check it out right here. Um, most of it is just desk setup videos or um, photos. I usually only take photos of my desk and or other products that I'm using or other brands ask me to take photos of and I never really branch out and take photos like landscaping or anything like that. So I use that medium here at the gym sometimes to take B-roll for you know the gym. I also do do their social media which I need to do be more consistent about. I've been spending way too much time on mine than theirs but I do also do the social media and um, you know, whether that be through video or photo form. So I like to flex that medium for photography and videography here, make some B-roll clips, do some nice um, photos for the Instagram and things like that. So why not, you know, take you through an off day where I decided that today's not gonna be a day where I code and make content for another medium so I can show you guys how I release some stress and kind of just branch out and be more open-minded about the mediums that I use. So uh, let's, let, let me just show you like the kind of content that I make for the gym.
One big misconception that I think people have is that not coding and not being at your desk and coding or, you know, like actively researching and going on a tutorial or reading an article is not productive. You know, being away from the computer, like I said, just feels unproductive. And I totally get it. I felt that same way. I understood and felt that, you know, I had to be coding all the time, you know, learning JavaScript. Any hour of the day that I lost when I wasn't coding felt so unproductive and I, I killed myself for that, you know, like, I really, really got into a mental state of, oh, well, this isn't good. I'm spending too much time away from it. I'm losing my time, I'm losing my chance. Where that's totally not the case. You know, if you have that mentality, you're gonna, you're gonna feel worse than if you had spent all your time learning to code. You know, you lose time with friends. They start to, you know, exclude you because you're spending way too much time away from them because you think you have to code all the time or you're not spending time with family, you're not spending enough time for yourself, whether it be physical exercise or meditation for med mental health or something, you know? It's not always bad to not code, you know? It's always good to step away from whatever it is you're doing and go out and do other things. So that's why I wanted to make this video and show you guys something that is, has been beneficial for me and to make sure that you understand that it's okay to not code all the time. So I hope that was beneficial to some of you guys. Again, if any of you wanted to hear that or needed to hear that, just know that coding all the time is not always the best thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment down below and hit subscribe. Um, it genuinely does help me out. I really, really do enjoy making all this content for you guys, whether it's helping you guys out, showing you guys what's going on in my life. Either way, just creating content has been so much fun. So love the support you guys have been showing so far and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.